So today I talk about a U0155 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a U0155 code? Well, it's a loss communication with instrument panel control IPC module. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's different computer control modules controlling different things inside of the vehicle. You can have like an engine control module, a transmission control module, and you can have this instrument panel control module. And each one of these control modules is controlling different things. So for example, an engine control module will be controlling engine functions. And this would be things like the injectors or the engine timing or the O2 sensors, things along these lines. And the instrument panel control module is going to be controlling the dashboard. And so this would be things like the fuel gauge or the check engine light or anything that gets displayed up on the dashboard. And when you get a U0155 code, for some reason, the other computer control modules, they can't communicate with the instrument panel control module. So for example, say the engine control module is seeing a problem with one of these O2 sensors. And so it tries to communicate with the IPC module and tells it you need to turn on the check engine light. But for some reason, the ECM can't talk to the IPC. And so it sends out this U0155 code. And one thing to note about all these computer control modules is that they're all connected through what's called a CAN bus. There can be other types of buses, but what's called a CAN bus is very common. And basically all the CAN bus is, is all the wires running around all the different computer control modules, along with where they're plugged in and the interface on how they talk to each other. And so if you do start to troubleshoot this and you hear the words CAN bus, just keep in mind that all that means is it's all the wires running around to all the different computer control modules, along with right where they plug into the modules. And so what would be some possible causes of a U0155 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad battery or the battery has bad battery terminal connections so that these connections are all corroded or damaged or something along these lines. And basically all these different computer control modules, they need a good stable power supply or else it could cause issues. So basically be sure that the battery is good and that those terminal connections are good. This is also going to include the alternator. You want to make sure that it's charging correctly. A quick way to see if the alternator is charging correctly is to use a multimeter and you basically just start up the vehicle and you check to see what the voltage is at the battery and when an alternator is working it should be putting out at least like 13 and a half to 14 and a half volts you can look up what your alternator is rated to be putting out but it should be like at least 13 and a half to 14 and a half volts and if it's lower than this or if it's higher than that then that can cause an issue with these computers and so if you have a multimeter you can't quickly check the alternator to be sure it's working correctly one thing to note is that some newer vehicles they do have what's called smart alternators so you might have to look up what the rated alternator output is but by far most vehicles as long as they're working in between 13 and a half and 14 and a half volts that usually means the alternator is working good the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring problem going up to the instrument cluster and so this is going to be all the wires that are running around everywhere. They're, they're going to be going to other computer control modules. They're going to be going to the battery for power and different things along these lines. And it is fairly common, especially up and underneath the dashboard, for a wire to, to be rubbing on like a piece of metal or something like this. And it slowly just causes it to open up or causes it to short or something along these lines. And so the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring issue going on. And the last thing on the list is going to be that that instrument panel control module has just failed and it just needs to be replaced. Depending on the manufacturer, the year, the make, different things like this, these can be built differently. But it is fairly common for everything just to be built into that whole cluster. So the panel control module is going to be built in along with different gauges and different lights and different things like this. It's usually all built into one. But the last thing on the list is going to be that that instrument panel control module has just gone bad and just needs to be replaced. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the U0155 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.